Welcome to another episode of Mental Health and Makeup Monday. If you've been here before, welcome back. And if you're new and just stopping by, hi. So since love is in the air, I'm gonna be talking about self-love. Because you know, you always hear, well, you gotta love yourself before you can love anybody else. But what does that actually look like? So I am here to share a little bit of insight. So stick around, you might learn something. But just FYI, probably not how to do your makeup because I'm not a makeup artist. All right then, moving on. So for some people, self-love is pretty foreign for them. And it's likely because they never had an example growing up or in their lifetime. Anyway, you get my point. So first thing I would encourage you to do is think about how you build a relationship with other people. What do you do? Hmm. So when's the last time you took yourself out on a date? Have you ever? Just you, yourself, alone, solo? So there's a lot of people that are afraid to do that. They're uncomfortable going out alone for a variety of reasons. So you really wanna understand what's making you uncomfortable. Is it because you don't like being alone with your thoughts? You need to distract yourself in some way? That could be a thing. So identify what's keeping you from spending time with yourself, all right? What might be coming up for you if you're feeling just anxious because you're by yourself or you're feeling bored or what have you, like just sit with it, all right? Hold space for yourself, show up for yourself. Just like you would do for a friend if they were anxious or nervous or bored or, or whatever the case may be, okay? So identify that. I'm not sure what color I'm doing today. I didn't plan anything out. So we'll see how it goes. Stick with me. What do you guys think? Yes, I'm still using the same palette because I am not cheap, but thrifty, frugal, if you will. Okay, so sorry to disappoint. So when you are alone with yourself, you also want to think about how you're talking to yourself, all right? Nobody wants to be around someone that's mean. So are you being mean to yourself? Is that the reason why you don't want to be alone? Is that the reason why you don't want to go on a date by yourself? Hmm? If so, what are you doing? Stop that. Okay. Another thing that can be helpful is identifying your love language. Mm -hmm. What is your love language with other people? Is it acts of service? You like it when people do things for you? Is it quality time? Is it words of affirmation? Is it gifts? Is it physical touch? And yes, you can practice these things for yourself. Get creative. All right. I know a lot of people are like, well, how do I do the physical touch thing? Well, you give yourself a massage. Get one of those weighted blankets. You know, beyond that, um, use your imagination. Just saying, all right? Side note, I just noticed how red my eyes are, and it's because I stayed up late watching Downton Abbey. Did I just give my age away? I don't know. But you know, I just get so sucked in. And you know, everything's just so polite. But I gotta say, this family, they need to talk to each other. I mean, come on. All the secrets, all the things. Anyway, what are you watching? Let me know. <laughs> All right, back to it. Start with taking yourself on a date. That can help you identify what you like and what you don't like. So find what, you know, set your heart on fire. This girl is on fire. This girl is on fire. This girl is on fire. I really need help. <laughs> I mean, I have professional help. I do see a therapist, but I'm talking about my makeup. I just, you know, I try. All I can say is I tried. Thank goodness for makeup wipes. Mm -hmm. So this next one, you might have heard me say before, and I'm sorry if it sounds redundant, but you know, I gotta drive it home. If you're watching these videos, it's for your benefit. And sometimes we need reminders constantly, okay? So you can skip this part if you don't wanna listen to it. But boundaries, okay? Are you taking too much on because you are concerned about what other people think or you're people pleasing? Are your boundaries being pushed? Or ignored perhaps if that's the case you may not have time to take yourself on a date because you're doing so much for everybody else all right so think about it also be honest with yourself about what you're taking on too are you feeling guilted or guilty for saying no where does that come from are you allowing yourself to be walked all over giving people too many chances Something else to think about when you're thinking about self-love is understanding that a second chance is not an obligation, it's privilege, all right? You might ask, well, what does that have to do with self-love? Well, everything. Because if you're letting someone walk all over you, are you really loving yourself? And would you let someone walk all over someone else that you cared about? Probably not. And if so, talk to somebody, okay? So just keep that in mind. Also, you wanna think about work, school life, balance. 
Now, I know I got some overachievers out there whom I very much applaud for their drive and motivation to better themselves and to grow and all things, but slow down, okay? You got one life to live as far as we know, so make sure you got some balance. Go out and see things, travel if you can. The next one that could be holding you back from loving yourself is not knowing yourself, which kind of goes back to why I was encouraging you to take yourself out on a date. You know, get to know yourself, all right? Learn to enjoy your own company because I'm sure you're fabulous, fabulous. So basically self-love is supporting yourself, showing up for yourself physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, okay? So prioritizing yourself, also learning to trust yourself, all right? Which goes back to what I was saying before, you know, are you giving people second chances that you shouldn't be having second chances because you're doubting yourself and you're not trusting yourself? Well, you're not gonna trust yourself unless you know yourself. You're not gonna know yourself unless you date yourself, okay? So just consider it. Don't go anywhere, because I've got a really good one for you. You don't wanna miss this, okay? If you're following me on Instagram, you might have an idea of what this one is. And if you're not, what are you doing, man? Follow me on Instagram, all right? Cool, be right back. Don't go anywhere, stay put. All right, here we are, final look, what do you think? So I told you I got something good for you. The number one thing that I would encourage you to take away from this video is to treat yourself the way you want other people to treat you, all right? We can't expect other people to treat us well if we're not treating ourselves well. We can't set boundaries like we have to if we're not doing well for ourselves, all right? So just keep that in mind. And until next time, be well, be strong, and be loved.